welcome to 5 Minute School. Today's video will be talking about the electrical activity of the heart from the perspective of the myocardial action potential. So once another myocardial cell has been stimulated by action potentials originate, originating in the sinoatrial node, it produces its own action potentials. The sinoatrial node is located here. The myocardial cells have a resting membrane potential of minus 85 millivolts. Now, when they are stimulated by action potentials from pacemakers, they become depolarized and voltage-gated sodium ion channels are opened. This level of depolarization is maintained for about 200 to 300 milliseconds before the phase of repolarization, where the membrane potential returns to minus 85 millivolts. This delay or this plateau phase results from calcium ion influx via slow calcium ion channels, which balances slow outward diffusion of potassium ions. The entry of calcium ions begins excitation contraction coupling, which basically, basically allows the myocardial cells to contract. This long refractory period prevents summation and tetanus which is basically summation is where we have several stimuli at once causing the contraction and tetanus is where we have muscle spasms so this long refractory period prevents summation and tetanus that's everything for today's video thank you very much for watching